Good morning, afternoon or evening and welcome to Nancy Drew Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon where we have um, a pipe puzzle here. I mean, that's gotta be like that, right? And obviously, then that's gotta be like that because I mean, it's, it's got to connect to here, and then, um, yeah, from there to here, but, is this going this way? This is pretty complicated. Well, this obviously has to be this way, then. Is that... Like that? And then there, and then from here... Do we go... Here? This has got to be like this. But like, um... That's in an angle. I think that's got to be like that. Is it like this? And then do we have to bring this into the... If we have to bring this into the thing as well... Then I'm thinking this needs to be like this. And then... That's probably like that. And mm. obviously, I can't connect this like all four ways, so something's gotta be wrong here. See, there's one loose connection here. And this needs to connect to three things. So obviously this has got to be like that, right? It can't reach anywhere but here, and here, and here, right? Like, uh, there's no way to make this connect to this, no. So this has to be like this. And that means... This has to be... In, in some kind of way, like... Like this, or like this. And something needs to connect to here too. So is it like this or... I mean it could be, right? And then this could be like this. And then that connection... There, all done. Oh. Okay, cool. And that's just where that puzzle is. So, 
at the moment we have no idea what that solved or like what the reward is for having done that but I'm sure that now that we have done that something somewhere is going to work that um, hasn't worked before right Mm. And yeah, over here, um, we just had, we can't do anything with the leaping lizard thing here. And this was just the H thing. Another gemstone. Yeah. There do seem to be... Gemstones in, in various places here. And I'm sure that's going to be significant in some kind of way at some point. Eliza Sandberger. Camille called this one Eliza Sandberger. Camille. Okay, Crawlmeister. Received of Jake Hurley for the price of $3.73. One Crawlmeister doll with decorative red ribbon on this 16th day of June 1880. Crawlmeister doll with decorative red ribbon and Camille called the doll Eliza. Okay. Nothing else to see here. Uh, which way were we going? We weren't going this way, right? No. That's where this is. Oh, right. I was going to check on the symbols. I remember that there was like um what are they called? Are they called carriages on a train? The um well anyway, I remember that there was one that had the owl in it. But what was the other one? Was it the cherry? I think I'm going to have to go back to, um... To where the sampler was. Was it here? It was. Okay, cool. Yes, Owl and Cherry. So, do I have to... Get the Owl and Cherry on the... The thing. So the Owl is 7 and the Cherry is 10. I have a 7 and a 3. Yeah. Let's go try that, see what happens. We can make a 7 and a 3 happen here. So, it was 7 first. Which is the owl, and then the cherry. Ah, <gasps> okay. 
something opened. This opened. Oh, I could have... No. I could have just checked the symbols on the door. So... Those look like steam pipes. Steam pipes. Can't do anything with them. At least not at the moment. There are all kinds of... Uh, things here. Shall we start at the bottom? Could be so upset about something that befell a doll. I accidentally knocked one Camille calls naughty Tina off the shelf and literally I'm afraid fractured its tiny skull despite my heartfelt Apologies, Camille burst probably into tears at the sight of the crack which now traverses Naughty Tina's face. Tears uh, continued unabated for hours. I told her I'd order her another as soon as we reach Copper Gorge. Okay, so Naughty Tina was a doll as well. And, uh... And, uh... Not the Naughty Tina doll suffered a head injury. Nothing else in this drawer. What about this one? Looks like to make this thing, whatever it is, I'm going to need a spyglass, a pickaxe, and a lamp. Citrine, amethyst, zircon, those are all gemstones, I think. Yeah, I think we've seen at least some of those gemstones around here in various various um statuettes and and things thirsty nose okay steam powered Oh, I, I guess we have that in our inventory now. Okay. What about... This one? Silver. What do all those colors have to do with silver? <gasps> Where was it that we needed silver? There was something that had the symbol AG on it and then ah uh, orange blue green red purple yellow um i'm going to write this down um i'll pause the recording while i do and then i'll be back once i've uh, written that down just in case nancy doesn't she sometimes writes clues in her notes, and uh, sometimes she doesn't. So I'll just um, pick up uh, a pen and some paper and 
and write this down. I can't remember where we had the AG at, but um, when we find it again, I'm sure I'll be glad to have this info with me. So just a sec. Okay, that's done. Nothing else in this drawer. Nope. What about the... this one? Eight. And nothing else I can interact with? Okay. What about all the other stuff in here? Okay. Jake said a lamp goes here. If I had a spyglass, I'd put it right here. A lamp and a spyglass. Don't have either of those things yet. Mm. According to that diagram I found, those six gemstones are supposed to go in these six holders. But I have no idea which one goes where. Yeah. This is where a gemstone goes. I guess they all look the same. Yeah, they do. Or at least these two both look the same. supposed to go here is it the do we put the schematic no that's just for us to look at well I suppose we'll figure it out Looks like I need to enter eight letters into this thing. The question is, which eight letters? Um... Camille is only seven. I don't think we have. Okay, so the train we're on is going to Copper, jo Copper Gorge, Colorado, the place where Jake's wife Camille was buried. At least that's what we were told. 
No telling where this train will really end up. Dad got me a brand new, simple to use camera phone. The only hard part is remembering to take pictures with it. Less than a half hour after the train left the station, Laurie Girard disappeared right in front of our eyes. It could be a hoax, but the only way to know for sure is to start talking to people and find out who knows what. Especially Tino Balducci, who, according to Joe Hardy, may have found a clue. Charlena Purcell is convinced that Laurie faked this whole disappearance thing and isn't the least bit worried about her. I'd be more inclined to trust Charlena's judgement if I weren't a little irritated by the fact that she didn't remember me from Shadow Ranch. The note about Buell that I found said that lead is the key, or, or lead is the key, when it comes to opening something. I wonder if he meant lead, as in the word that rhymes with, li with read, or the metal kind of lead, as in the word that rhymes with red. John Gray is just as gung-ho about recording and analyzing ghostly phenomena in real life as he is on TV. He seems nice enough, but people that fanatical and that smart weren't watching because there's always the possibility that they know more than they're saying. The needlepoint sampler in what used to be Camille's train car. Oh yeah, they're called train cars. Duh. Um, includes a train. Is it supposed to be the train we're on? And some of the symbols on it seem to be associated with numbers. Why? And who or what is offer awful Ursala? Did she have something to do with the haunted train rumors? I found a book on samplers in Camille Scar. She probably referred to it while she was making the sampler I saw in there. Poor Camille. What a life that must have been, traveling around on a train all the time, having only Jake and his engineer for company. The sampler she made is rich with detail, and no wonder, she had nothing but time on her hands. Dino Balducci seems to be a lot of bluster and not much else. What's more, I get the feeling he knows it and is feeling a little insecure. Which means I'd better stay on my toes when I'm around him. People like him are liable to do or say anything. Yeah, unfortunately... Jake kept a book on how to identify gemstones in his train car. I guess when you're looking for gold, you're liable to find other valuable rocks too. It would sure be nice to know whether he ever found the gold he spent his whole life looking for. By putting two slugs on the scale in Jake's train car, I was able to open the door to the next car. I wonder if putting combinations of other slugs on the scale will cause other things on the train to open up? Probably. I found a drawer in the car in front of the caboose that had a sequence of six colors in it. The sequence was labeled silver. There was, of course, no explanation as to why. Yeah, we already know why. Um, Del Frank and Joe, that Jake Hurley apparently left the pickaxe and lamp. Keep your eyes peeled for more of those slugs. 
the scale that's built into the wall does more than just the way things here. I'm done with that. Connect the pipes. I'm done with that. Uh figure out how to open that old cigar box in what used to be Jake's train car. Oh, is that where the where we had the silver thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The letters A G. Right? So that's where the color combination is for. Well, that's pretty close by, so I guess we'll do that next. Find something that'll unscrew those strange looking bolts. Hmm. Or numbers. What the deal is with those colored blocks in that drawer in the sleeping car? Are you supposed to make a pattern with them? If so, what pattern? Colored blocks? Uh, I, I can't remember that at the moment, but um... Oh well, we'll go there again at some point and uh, take a look. Head toward the front of the train and see what whoever's driving this train knows about Laurie's disappearance. Oh, so I guess we went the wrong way. I guess we went towards the back of the train. Talk to Tino. Check. Call Bess and George. Finish that. When a task has been done, check it off. Finish that. All right. So, um, yeah, we need a eight letter thing. And we need some kind of a code for here. This may take a while. So, um, what? We've got three, six, three, no, two, six, two, six, seven. Two, six, seven, nine. Okay, two, six, seven, nine, five. Two, six, seven, nine, five, three. the one to find me no offense uh, nadine nancy nancy drew well as you can see i wasn't really spirited away by ghosts or anything that bookshelf in the dining car you step on this thing in the floor in there and it slides open i practiced disappearing for weeks was anyone else in on the trick just the engineer and all he did was keep his mouth shut See, here's the deal. My dad wound up with this train when he bought out Noram Shipping. They'd been storing it in this old warehouse outside St. Louis for so long that everybody had just forgotten about it. Anyway, after like mass begging on my part, dad had the train restored to working condition and got me an engineer and track permits and all that other stuff until finally, here we are, on our way to find out what happened to Jake Hurley. Um... 
Uh, I think you were going to explain why you kidnapped yourself. Oh, right. Well, see, I was one of the first people in like a hundred years to set foot on this train, okay? Everything was just the way it was when Jake disappeared. Except, I also found this. It's a letter that Jake wrote in 1901 to his niece back east. He was real paranoid about claim jumpers, which is why he never told anyone where his mine was. But he was also afraid something would happen to him and no one would ever know where it was. So he wrote this letter to his only living relative, Ruth Kensington. Here, take it. You want me to have it? Why? Because you found me. See, in that letter, Jake tells Ruth that everything she needs to figure out where his mine is, is on this train. He also warns her that his wife's spirit is on the train too, which kind of creeps me out. But the thing is, to find Jake's lost mine, we need the train. How do you know this Ruth person didn't find the mine decades ago? Mostly because I found that letter in the wastebasket. It was like she'd gotten so ticked off trying to follow her nutty uncle's clues that she finally said to heck with the whole thing. So you want me to try to figure out where the mine is? Uh-huh. As for the other people on board, if you want to show them that letter, go ahead. It's totally up to you. We're going to Copper Gorge because that's where Jake buried Camille, so I figured his mine might be somewhere around there too. But if you think we need to go somewhere else, you just let me know and I'll have the engineer take us there. Um... How well do you know your guests? Well, I don't know you or those Harvey guys at all. Hardy. Frank and Joe Hardy. Whatever. I didn't know John Gray before this either, but I love his show. And I figured he'd jump at the chance to investigate an honest-to-goodness haunted train. And now that someone has finally found me, I can finally go meet him for real. What about Tino Balducci? I met Tino right after he got famous for solving those robberies. Inviting him here for this was a no-brainer. I mean, what an awesome detective. And those piercing eyes of his? You just know his mind's in there going 90 miles an hour. How well do you know Charlena Purcell? I just know her from her books, which are so good. In fact, I just started reading her latest one, The Moon Tells No Lies. See, what I'd really, really like to do is write romance novels. Everybody who knows me says I'd be really good at it. In fact, a while back, I sent Charlena some ideas, you know, just to see what she thought. And? She hated them. <laughs> How come you didn't try to find the mine yourself? Maybe I did. Or maybe I just thought letting other people try to find it would be a good excuse to throw a party. I like parties. Bye. I'll be waiting. Okay, so do we have anything here except for her? Yes? Bye! As soon as you figure it out, let me know! Can't see what she's reading either. Locked, naturally. Wonder how you open it. Oh, I, I can't do anything about these, but I can interact with these. Huh. Wonder how you're supposed to get this open. Okay, so there are more mysteries in here, then. Looks like a dance floor, maybe? Okay, got my dancing shoes on. Now what? Oh, whoa. I have no idea. Do I need to find... some kind of a clue for this? Probably. Oh, I can put them um. 
I have no idea. I'm just going to leave it for now. And, uh, I'm sure there's some kind of a clue for this somewhere. There's gotta be. I wanna turn and look at what's on the on the sides there, but I guess I can't. Oh, this was open. I can use this to open that grate I saw in Camille's car. Okay. So that's all I can get from here. Well made some progress. So, I can't look at... Because it seems to me like there's a gemstone on this thing. But no. Can't look at it. So, we saw gemstones on various statuettes and things kind of all around the train. And... We needed a certain set of gemstones for um, the other car, the thingy there. So now I just need to find the gemstones again and find a way to pry them out of the, um, the statuettes or whatever it is that they are. Um, fastened onto and then uh, once I've done that I need to find some kind of a schematic or way to decipher where each gemstone needs to go okay I have no idea what I'm supposed to write here Also, there are several copies of each letter. Oh. Oh. So, you need to make a path. Or like, um, a continuous... Okay. So, what do you need to write here? Is there a way to write Camille? Can I go diagonally? No. Um... can't go diagonally. So I don't think there's a way to write Camille here. Wonder what we do need to write. Um, I think I'll see if we can find a clue for this somewhere. We'll have to come back here for other stuff anyway. Oh good, I think I can just open this and uh, I won't have to do that anymore, right? Yeah, good. So that's an improvement over some previous games where I had to um, unlock everything um, all over again once I wanted to pass through doors and stuff. Even though I had already figured them out and uh, unlocked them. Mm. So I think we'll go and see about opening that. Was it like a cigar box or something? That was over here. 
this was the silver thing, wasn't it? So, let's see. It says... Orange, blue, green, red, purple, yellow. So, orange... And what do I do now? Orange. Oh. Orange. Blue. Green. Red. Purple, yellow, Wilson Carbide and Acetylene Works. Dear Jake. I have sent to you two lamps, which you should receive by the end of the month. When you get them, simply place carbide in the lower chamber, water in the upper chamber, then use the built-in flint lighter to ignite the jet of gas which results. As you'll see, the carbide lamp is an exceedingly practical device, especially for people in your dark and dangerous line of work. Would that you or I had invented it? In your last letter, you sounded quite despondent, old chum. I suppose this is understandable, in view of your failure to strike it rich. But I am living proof of how quickly misfortune can turn into good fortune. Little did I suspect five years ago that my attempt to pr produce alum aluminum would instead produce calcium carbide or that calcium carbide when placed in water would release acetylene yet suddenly i was the surprised but happy owner of the patent for an inexpensive way of manufacturing an intensely flammable gas. Just as I became wealthy when I sold that patent, I have no doubt that you too will someday be handsomely Always your friend, Thomas Wilson. rewarded for your efforts. Continue to keep me appraised of your adventures, dear friend, and never, ever give up. May the lamps I send you soon light your way to the gold you seek. Ah. Looks like a pattern for some kind of dance step. Maybe I'd better keep this. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so we go from here, and then we start with the left foot to here, and then the right foot to here, left foot here, right foot here, and so on. Um, will I be able to have this open? when solving the puzzle.
Hmm. I guess we'll see. For now, we'll have it in the inventory. Also, it's kind of time to end the episode. So, um, I'll end the episode here and in the next one. Hmm. I think I'll go and start by uh, trying to solve the the dance puzzle first because we are still pretty close to that train car and um, yeah it just makes sense to me to go there now before we get further away from it so yeah uh, we'll see how exactly it works if I can consult the uh this every now and again while solving the puzzle or hopefully that'll be the case so that I don't have to try and memorize all of the steps first and then um start solving the puzzle but uh We'll see about that in the next episode. For now, thank you so much for watching and spending a little of your time with me here today. It was lovely to have you. Please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I will see you again next time. <laughs>